Now the alpha blockers, these are the most common type of medication that we use to treat BPH and really they represent our entry level management for people that have urinary symptoms related to an enlarged prostate that cause them bother. The bladder is on top, the bladder neck is the junction between the bladder and the prostate and they also result in relaxation of the smooth muscle through the prostatic urethra which is in the center part of the prostate. So alpha blockers, examples of which in Australia include drugs like prazosin and also tamsulosin, result in relaxation of smooth muscle inside the prostate and the bladder neck. There are different types of alpha blocker. There are titratable and there are non-titratable. The titratable ones in essence means that we start off at a low dose and we gradually increase the dose that someone is taking until we get the therapeutic benefit, the benefit in their urinary symptoms, and we balance this against any potential side effects. There are non-titratable alpha blockers, whereby someone takes one pill, one tablet per day, and we assess the response that they have. In terms of side effects related to alpha blockers, the most common side effects that we see is something called postural hypotension. In essence, this means that someone's blood pressure can lower when they stand from either sitting or lying down and can result in someone feeling a bit dizzy or a little bit lightheaded at that time. The other common side effect is something called rhinitis, which in essence manifests like a, a bit of a head cold and people feel like they have pressure in their front sinuses or they can have a slight runny nose. In younger men, they can experience something called retrograde ejaculation, which is where they have an orgasm, but there is no fluid that is emitted.